What's up guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my history with Bella Songs as of October 2022. So my history with Bella Songs is a little strange. It started out the same as most flippers out there today, with a spy from Team Fortress 2 flipping his iconic stock butterfly knife. The rest is kind of fuzzy up until the summer before my sophomore year of high school, whereupon I got something called a flip fence. It was just a cheap plastic flipper that I can't really call a ballast song, mainly due to its look and style while flipping. That broke however, so I got a flip fence clone, which I flipped for a bit, but it was just too light and just terrible. Then I moved on to a Balio flip pen, which for those who don't know, is like a cheap, small ballast song pen with a penless design. I flipped it throughout most of my junior year of high school as a fidget, but it was just too small to do certain tricks on. It was very cramped and only really functioned as a pen more than a flipper, and even then it wasn't as good as I'd hyped it up to be. Later, just two weeks before my senior year of high school, I got a Squiddy from Squid Industries, which I still have to this day. I flipped it during my senior year of high school, and about a month or so before I graduated, I realized I had to be a little bit careful when opening this because uh, if I opened it too rough or too fast, the handles would slap like so. This should have been expected, however, as it is made primarily of plastic, which isn't all that durable when flipped. It's still a good flipper, but there are better ones on the market. After flipping my Squiddy for a while, I decided to get my first metal battle song trainer, the $30 Mamba clone from Amazon. Yeah, I know, I know, it's a clone. But it was all I could afford at the time, and I wanted a metal trainer that was cheap, easy to get, and somewhat decent. Plus, after watching a Will Hirsch video channel up there, he unboxed some relatively good Amazon battle songs, mentioning this one in particular. He had something similar to this, but this was something a little bit better. It's affordable. It's a clone. You're gonna you're gonna delve into clone territory if you go into the 50-ish dollar range and below. But that's kind of it's kind of inevitable when you get into this hobby. You're gonna buy clones whether you know it or not. Anyway, he said this was pretty good as a starter ballast song. However, there are better ones on the market, which I'll go over later. So I was like, all right, I'll get that. And when I did, it was okay. Not good, not bad, just okay. The only thing that stopped it from being good was that the latch needed removed and it needed Loctite on the pivot screws and Zen pin screws. In fact, as I was flipping one time, one of the Zen pin screws actually came out, which I have footage of right here. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh shit. But after those mods, it's a fairly decent flipper. However, it is incredibly handle biased, which makes fans very difficult. But maybe you're looking for that, in which case I won't judge. Balance is just a preference. If you want handle bias or even blade bias, go for it. Later on, I got a little tired of the handle-heavy Mamba clone, so I decided to get an upgrade. This particular upgrade being the Triton V2 by Squid Industries. This thing is pretty damn solid. It has aluminum channel handles with a hardened stainless steel blade. I flipped this thing every day until I got something better, but it, even then it still held up pretty well. 
It has a medium handle bias, which is completely subjective, but to me, that's a pretty good balance. It doesn't have jimping, however, and I don't see that happening with the Triton collection anytime soon. Finally, we cap it off at the Vault. I won't give my full thoughts just yet, but it's pretty damn good. It introduced a lot of things to me in the Battle Song hobby as well. But you'll just have to wait until the full review for that, huh? But yeah, that's pretty much it. This video was a bit different, I know, but let me know what you think of this format and if I should make any changes in the future. As always, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later.